Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to your english literature class i'm shamima rahman with you i hope you all are fine and you're studying properly at home today we're going to talk about a topic what we started in our previous class can you remember the name of that topic yes the name of the topic is true judgment as we already started the topic in our previous class today we will we will have our lecture 2 that means second class on this topic are you ready okay before we start our today's lesson let's have a look what we learned in lecture 1 we will have a review a revision on our previous class with the help of these keywords. I wrote some keywords here. So let's start. At first we see that Emperor Akbar was walking in the balcony with his favorite minister Birbal. There was a river in front of the palace balcony and the water of the river was too cold. According to Birbal, no ordinary or common man, common person, can survive after staying a long time in the river. Hearing this, Emperor Akbar makes a plan. And what was his plan? He offers a challenge to the villager that if any ordinary man or that means if any villager stay in the water for a long time, he will be rewarded by Emperor Akbar. On behalf of Emperor Akbar, a town crier makes this announcement at the village market. In the picture, we see that he is beating his drum and giving the announcement. Everybody heard it, but as it was winter and the water was cold, nobody dared to accept this challenge but they knew accepted the challenge he was a poor washerman and he thought that as he is used to uh, with cold water because he washes co clothes with cold water it will not be a very big problem for him but if he tries his luck then it will be good for him he will get reward and he'll get money so According to as he accepted the challenge, Denu started standing in the middle of cold water in front of the river. And next morning, he was shivering badly because the water was actually too cold for Denu too. By the way, this is how he completed the task. And that's why as he completed the task successfully, people congratulated him. Now we will talk about today's lesson. In our previous lesson, we completed reading um, scenes 1, 2, and 3. And today we'll be talking about scenes 4, 5, 6, and 7. The, these scenes are not, I mean, so big. So all you have to do, you will read it. Please pause this video and read scenes 4, 5, 6, and 7 in your book and after reading watch the rest of the video so now it's your study time please start study well i think you have uh, read your book and now let's talk about what you learned from scenes four and five first in scenes four and five we see that after completing the task poor denu and his family went to akbar's court to receive the reward denu as denu did the task successfully according to akbar denu was a brave young man when akbar was about to give the reward to denu a courtier, that means another minister, stopped Akbar from rewarding Denu. 
and he gave a logic. He said that Denu didn't complete the task successfully or completely. And there was a condition that Denu had to stand in the cold water. But the water was not cold because the lights of the palace kept the water warm and they knew also warm that means hot the water was quite i mean comfortable so it was not a challenge and that's how they knew didn't do the task successfully because the water was hot so that's uh, sorry so akbar believed the courtier and he did not give them any reward does poor and sad Denu did not get justice from him and he left the court empty-handed that means without any reward. Birbal was present there and Birbal saw everything. He was very unhappy. Next day Birbal uh, though he was usually punctual that means he always maintained time and he got never late to come to the court but one day, Birbal gets late or absent in the court. A messenger came and told Akbar that Birbal is late today because he is cooking. Hearing this, Akbar got angry, right? That, uh, I mean, how can uh, he be so careless? He is cooking and he cannot come only for this reason. So, angry... Angry Akbar decided to go to Birbal's house to see him. That's what is the reason why he is absent today. Okay. After, as uh, I mean, when Akbar arrived Birbal's house in six, uh, sorry, since six and seven, we see that when Akbar arrived Birbal's house, he saw that Akbar was uh, sorry, Birbal was co cooking. <coughs> he also saw that Birbal placed a cooking pot. On a tall tripod far above the fire. Akbar said that it is silly because the pot, the cooking pot, is not getting the heat of the fire, and without the heat of the fire, the food inside the cooking pot cannot be cooked. Hearing this, Birbal replied that. What was Birbal's reply? If this fire cannot, in the picture you can see the fire, right? If this fire cannot cook the food, then how can the lights of the palace, what was so far away from the cold water, kept the new warm? It's not also possible that the lights of the palace could make water hot. So they knew, so the water was cold and Denu completed the task successfully. Actually it was Birbal's trick to make Emperor Akbar understand that he made a mistake from giving or uh, passing judgment to poor Denu. He realized his mistake and then he went back to the palace and he rewarded they knew whatever he deserved as they knew did the task completely it was not possible that the lights of the um, palace could make the water hot actually the water was cold and they knew also did the task successfully and that's how birbal helped emperor akbar to pass true judgment that means true justice or pro judge properly so this is the story. I hope you understood the story. And if you still have any queries or any question, you can talk to your um, teacher, English teacher. So here I wrote the um, keywords once again. And you will, uh, you can have a look on these uh, keywords and you can try to tell the story by yourself. Okay, with the help of these keywords. After that, your practice time will come. We know practice makes perfect. After reading 
lecture two part you have to read lecture two part from the lecture sheet and after reading you have to practice lecture two parts exercises after that you have to check your answer with the answer sheet and still if you have any problem you can talk to your teacher english teacher if you need that is all for today i hope you got this um, topic and you understood it and you also you enjoyed this drama so hope to see you again assalamu alaikum and thank you